Class abruptly ended this morning at a St. Paul High School as hundreds walked out in protest. The Highland Park High School students say they are taking a stand against sexual assault, saying they're not happy with how cases are being handled now or how they were handled in the past. Mariel Mose was in St. Paul as students walked out. She joins us now with more details about the demands they have for their school. L. Shayla, Highland, uh, Highland Park High School is behind me here, and this plaza at the main entrance was nearly full with students that walked out around 9.15 this morning. A couple hundred, in fact, walked out of their classroom. They marched their way around the blocked campus, a block around the campus here, holding signs and chanting, many students sharing their personal stories about sexual assault and abuse during their time within the district. They had three main arguments that they made during this walkout as they want, they say that they want accusations of assault to be taken seriously and for accusers to be held accountable. They also want a written out action plan to address sexual assault within the district. And lastly, they want teachers and staff to provide more education on what to do in an abusive or non-complicit situation. The walkout was not just students though. Some staff was among the crowd showing their support. Those administrations here at Highland Park who actually take action and do things that stepped out, that was incredible. The number of people who showed out between janitors, between students, and all across the board really showed how much of the allyship and of the intensity that needs to be taken care of in terms of sexual assault culture. The district responded to this walkout with a statement saying, in part, St. Paul's public schools take any and all reports of sexual assault, sexual violence, and other harassment and offensive behaviors very seriously. When these instances or allegations are reported, they are fully investigated according to district policy. And the district went on to tell me that they fully support students' right to exercise free speech and they will not be punished for the walkout as long as they return to classroom afterwards. Those who do not will receive an absence on their record. Record. The students that I spoke with today told me that if they don't see any immediate changes or action plan written and put into place, that they will take their concerns to the school board and they will continue to hold more walkouts. Shayla. Mariel Mose reporting. Thank you so much, Mariel.